Well, I figured I'd make another video about the Blue Max. Um, a lot of people just put, when they first get it, they get excited. And they put some uh, videos out there. And I figured I'd just do a little update. I've been working with it. Uh, it's a little late. I'm using a light bulb. Anyway, that's all my stuff. I've been uh, doing some three-dimensional stuff with Mastercam and Mach 3. And I've uh, been using foam. When I do wood, I only use a uh, one eighth, or I'm sorry, yeah, one eighth inch router bit, and with foam I can put it up to a quarter inch bit, which I have in there right now. And if it's sharp, it won't get too hot at about 30 inches per minute. It does a good job. At 60, it'll do good. It'll look good for a minute. I could get it on tape, and you'd think it was gonna keep doing that, but at some point I would miss a few steps and then things would uh, not be symmetrical and it wouldn't look right. If I go too slow, sometimes that's bad. It doesn't seem like it's real bad uh, at, when I go too slow, but 30 seems to be a sweet spot for this machine in my experience. Maybe 20 would be better, I don't know. But uh, with a lot of load from harder materials like wood, it's really, you're only going to be able to use um, the one on the right, which is a smaller bit. And then I just got at Home Depot. And these ones, the bigger one I got at Harbor Freight. I don't have any real pro tools yet as far as uh, end mills or anything because they're expensive and I have to order them. But uh, I'm just cutting foam. And I'm learning about CNC at school. So um, I've been doing quite a bit of cutting actually upgraded the Blue Max to have uh, kind of like a holder for the lead screw. It's slightly unsymmetrical, but that's because uh, I didn't, or not symmetrical, but I didn't. Um, one was climb milling and the other was conventional milling when I set up the, uh, the drive surface or whatever the uh, it doesn't cut the same way so the the cutter makes it um, loads to the left and then when it comes around the other side it loaded to the right so there's a little bit of a difference you can see right there where it meets uh, it's just a little bit different in the middle I don't know if you can see that but those are just things I learned in CNC So I really recommend getting a caliper if you don't have one. This is a cheap one. The ones at school are a lot better. Uh, but I have also made these. This one came out alright. But same deal. I had to change. And uh, you can see it's a little bit out of shape right there. I could slow it down. And also I could brace the x-axis because the x-axis does kind of wave around a little bit when it's under load. It used to be a drawer. And then, uh, so I'm going to do some more upgrading to the Blue Max, maybe make it bigger too. I kind of plan on making it into a 2 by 3 foot router with a maybe a 6 inch travel on the Z. And I might even upgrade the motors. The motors are nice, but it's just a starting point for me anyway. This I made in Mastercam, as you can see, um, that didn't work. But this one, I learned something on that last one. There's actually that uh, little gap right there it was around the tail section on the other one, and that caused it to uh, rip to pieces right there because it was so thin so that's why the tail got ripped off also it was jumping up into the, the tool so uh, anyway this one was made with a parallel rough cut and also a parallel finish but I didn't leave any material on the rough cut and then the finish cut kinda looks like a rough cut because it didn't do anything a whole lot different but you can see that uh, it's capable of cutting foam. It's 
great place to start for me. So that's my little update of what I've been doing with the Blue Max. For any shoppers out there that are looking at it and you're kind of thinking, uh, what can you do with it? And that's what I did with it so far. Maybe I'll make another update later.